students so this is the uh, part 1 of ugc net paper 2 preparation for electronic science so uh, there's a lot of people who's preparing for the ugc net electronic science examination so this is a mock test series so from today onwards we'll be doing uh, the mock test parts various as various parts for the preparation of uh, part 2 electronic science paper so the paper is consisting of 100 questions and the time allotted is 2 hours so roughly uh, you will get 1.8 minutes to answer each question but the time allotted for answering these 10 questions within each part i have allotted 15 minutes because it is um, it's good for you if you practice with less time right so the first question is this if e equal to 2 volt per meter of a wave in free space the value of magnetic field h is dash E here is electric field. Magnetic field we need to find. And also it is given that the wave is traveling through free space. Now, there is a famous relation called E by H. Which is the ratio of electric to magnetic field in density. That is the intrinsic impedance. And it is given for given as 120 pi for free space. You should be knowing this as by heart. Because you uh, find it very useful for solving a lot of these type of questions. Rather than solving by using the equations and all you need this relation okay so e by h is equal to 120 pi if the wave is traveling in free space now you have been given the value of e which is 2 volt per meter you need the value of h so h is equal to 2 by 120 pi which is equal to 1 by 60 pi pi is in the denominator okay so this is the value for your magnetic field density and the unit is ampere per meter for electric field it is volt per meter and uh, for magnetic field it is ampere per meter. So I have So the correct answer for the first question is A 1 by 60 pi ampere per meter. That is the correct answer for your first question. Okay. Second question is this a 20 kilowatt carrier is sinusoidally modulated by two carriers corresponding to modulation index 30 percentage and 40 percentage. So there are two carriers uh, with two different modulation indices. To modulate this carrier okay the total radiated power is dash so here when two or more modulation indices are coming the combined effect of this modulation indices will be square root of or the resulting resulting modulation index is 0.3 square plus point point four square and it will be 0 0.5 okay so the total or the resultant modulation index is 0.5 now, this is the modulation index corresponding to the overall effect. Okay. Now, this is the overall modulation index. Since there are two other carriers with different modulation indices, that, uh, that resultant is 0.5. Now, we need to find the total radiated power. The equation is Pt is equal to Pc into 1 plus m square by 2. And here, m is 0.5, not 0.3 or 0.4, it is 0.5, the resultant. Okay. PC is given 20 kilowatts into 10 raised to 3 into 1 plus 0 0.5 square by 2. And if you solve it, you will get it is the resultant is 22.5 kilowatts. Okay. Solve this and you will be getting 22.5 kilowatts is the answer for this question. Okay. So the trick to solve this question is here there are the question is a 20 kilowatt carrier is sinusoidally, sinusoidally modulated by two carriers corresponding to two different modulation index. So you have to first find the resultant. Then, then apply the total power equation. Okay. So M is known, PT is PC is known. So you can calculate PT. Correct answer is option B. And the most suitable instrument to measure voltage is dash. A DVM, voltmeter, digital voltmeter, analog voltmeter, B. C, CRO, D, digital multimeter. The correct answer is with the CRO, you can most efficiently or most suitably uh, measure the voltage. Okay, You can see very slight variations in very uh, small divisions. It is shown. You can pic uh, picturally also see in front of you. Okay, So the measurement for a measurement of voltage, the most suitable instrument is option C, CRO. Question 4 is from Digital Electronics. I have not written the entire question, paper, uh, question which you can find in the question session anyway. So here you need to find the output expression for this question. This is a MUX which is a 2 is to 1 MUX 
sorry this is a 4 is to 1 mux with two select lines four input lines and one output line now uh, for various combinations of x and y your uh, input is getting selected to the output side right now uh, in order to find the expression anyway i have written the answer here um, we'll first analyze the question okay so for various combinations of x and y your output f let us see what are the outputs for 0 0 output is c this is the 0 0 select line uh, 0 0 when uh, 0 0 is in the select line your input 0 will be selected it is directly given as 0 for 0 1 for 1 0 and 1 1 your inputs are connected to vcc or 1 right so for 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 your output is 1 so this is the truth table of a or gate right so the correct answer here is option b which is x plus y is your output function this e this max is implementing nothing but a or gate correct answer is option b so the gate is not asked they are asking the expression it is x plus y so if the gate is asked from options you have to select or gate correct answer is option b here this question is this uh, this is a symbol you have to identify what is this symbol you have to uh, you have to be aware of all the major electronic component symbol especially fet bjt diodes zener diode all opam all these are very important okay so the correct answer for this symbol is it is a p channel depletion mosfet okay so you should be aware of the mosfets enhancement type depletion type anyway this is a p channel depletion mosfet correct answer is option a next is again from a digital electronic subject so uh, here in case of gates they are simply given box so you have to write the output expression for x okay we will start from this side. So, this is the first gate from this order. There is a NOT gate. It is been connected to C bar. So, what will be the output of NOT gate? It is C only. So, again B and C is connected to OR gate. So, the output is B plus C. Then B plus C and A is connected to AND gate. So, the answer will be this is actually capital A. Okay, Capital A, B and C. Anyway, all variables are in small. So, don't worry about that. Even if, even if it is like that. No problem. Okay. A, B and C. So, the output will be A into B plus C. Correct answer is option B. X equal to A dot or A into B plus C is the correct answer. If the branch of any network has a current source, uh, then the analysis is carried out by dash analysis method. Correct answer is uh, various options are nodal analysis, super mesh analysis, uh, likewise. The correct answer is we use a super mesh analysis in order to particularly specify uh, and analyze uh, the functioning of a current source okay so if there is any uh, branch with a with with a current source that is if the branch of any network has a current source then the analysis we carry out is a super mesh analysis next question is uh, while loop sorry which loop structure would execute its statements at least once even if the test condition fails for the first time. The options are while, for, uh, if, likewise. The correct answer is do while. So, for a do while, there is a do, then we check for the while condition, right? So, first, these statements are executed, then only we check for the while condition. So, even if the first time uh, failure occurs, the statements are executed at least once. Okay, so, correct answer is option C, do while. Is the modulation index of an AM wave is staged from 0 to 1. The transmitted power is dash. So, earlier it is 0. That is, the modulation index is 0. So, the transmitted power PT is equal to PC into 1 plus 0 by 2. Or it is PT into 1 itself. Right. Then, this is the first case. For M equal to 1, earlier M was equal to 0. When M is equal to 1, PT is equal to PC into 1 plus 1 by 2. Uh, 1 square by 2 or 1 by 2 that is equal to 3 by 2 right so this is a second case so what will happen the transmitted power actually get reduced or you can say it actually gets to half the value so it is 1 minus 3 or it is for the second case it is 3 by 2 3 by 2 times pc then for the first case it is 1 PC. So, 3 by 2 minus 1 or 3 minus 2 by 2 or it is 1 by 2. So, the power actually gets halved. 
or it uh, it was reduced to half the value okay so this much reduction is there deduction is there okay correct answer is it is reducing when the modulation index of a wave is changing from 0 to 1 transmitted power reduces next the last question is the output of a dc motor depends mainly on dash the correct answer is for a dc motor output mainly depends on the speed and torque okay so you could have seen all the 10 questions in the question area so these are the 10 questions answers or the solutions so we'll be continuing this series of mock tests for ugc uh, net preparation for paper 2 of electronic science till the examination is over okay so uh, if you want subject wise videos please to watch the playlist for various subjects the subject wise videos are there and also there is a separate uh, playlist for formula revision of various core subjects of electronics you can find it over there and these videos are very useful for you if you are preparing for UGC NET examination and these questions which I have included in this video and in the upcoming videos also which I will be including are not random questions these are previous year questions from UGC NET examination so it is very useful for you if you side by side practice these type of questions within the time bound timely practice is very essential for cracking any competitive examination so please do uh, share these videos uh, that is this mock test videos with all your friends who's preparing for a UGC net examination Okay, so that's it. I really hope that you found it useful Please say if yes, please do give it a thumbs up and also share it maximum and if you want more videos Please do subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and keep on watching